here we go. This next jumping drill, we're gonna focus on jumping the line. Now there's three different phases and you can pick the phase that's going to fit best for your skill level. And you'll complete four rounds of one minute of work, one minute of rest. Now, if maybe you're in between, between phases, you can pick the two most appropriate phases and do two rounds of each. So for phase one, you're gonna get some chalk, a towel, a jump rope, a crack in the ground, anything that can make a line. And you're going to take your stationary practice from this last drill and start as far away from the line as you can, get rolling and practice hopping over the line. Okay, now remember bringing your knees to you, not the other way around. You want to bring your knees to your body, not your body to your knees. Keep your sh shoulders relaxed and your knees soft. You want to make sure that you're engaging your core to really explode off the ground. That's really important here. As is, you know, really making sure that you're doing that off skates training with your quads and your hamstrings and your calves to make sure you're ready for this. Okay, now then there's phase two. So phase two option of this is to find an object you wouldn't mind accidentally breaking in case you fall on it, or maybe something soft like a shoe, something that's not breakable. Maybe don't use a wine bottle or a ceramic lamp that might impale you. That would be sad, okay? So what you're going to do is find something that's at least two to three inches in height that's safe and appropriate to jump over, and you'll repeat what you just did, what we just talked about with the line drill. You'll go up, jump the object, turn around, go back, jump the object again, okay? So again, we're focusing on one minute of work, one minute of rest. Now, the final phase is you wanna find an object that's at least six inches in height, okay? I like to personally find things that I can stack, you know, like some books or something like that, um, is a really great way to do it. And you can repeat your practice by getting a little higher and a little higher. You could even do the toilet paper challenge that everyone's doing with their dogs, okay? So you'll repeat your jump practice with this new challenge. If you're struggling, go back to the previous level, like a smaller object or a line or stationary hopping, and practice that level more, then challenge yourself to move up again. And that, my friend, is your jump the line drill.